up. Let me get closer. What is up guys and girls? This is Glenn here once again with another Rope Rage video. Now, in this video, we're gonna be looking at an insane technique called the unders double, which is double unders, reversed, backwards. We're, we're, doing, we're doing double unders backwards. <laughs> it's a technique that I've touched on in a previous video in which we were looking at four pretty wild uh, double under variations. In that video, two of them actually were backwards. We had the double unders backwards and we had the double under crossover. But I have been meaning to get into this in a proper, full on tutorial. So I also want to give a shout to Mamata. I hope I've pronounced that right, for suggesting on a recent video um, for me to put out a tutorial on the backwards double under. So do keep your comments coming in for any tutorials you wanna see. It's always great for me to see them and to chat with you guys to get to know how far along you are with your training, how training's going. So keep flooding that comment section. I'll do my best to get as many of these tutorials out when I have the time to put them together and just throw them out for you when I can. <clears throat> so I wanna make this tutorial pretty concise and to the point. First things first, if you're going to do backwards double unders, you need to be able to do backwards single unders. Now this might go without saying, but you wanna to get to a point where you're super comfortable with it. You wanna be able to knock off at least 20 uninterrupted single unders with no problem at all. To understand the mechanics of rotating the rope backwards, because there's a hand positioning that you have to have in order to have that rope going around without nicking you on the foot or nicking your head on the way over. So get that down with the single under. positioning for the double under later in the video but make sure you can knock off at least 20 single unders. The second sort of preliminary step is to be able to do the double unders regularly, the forward double unders. You want to be able to do at least 10 double unders uninterrupted, no qualms, so you want to be able to do those double unders easily with no issue. to a point where those double unders and those backwards single unders are really quite elementary and quite easy for you. It just takes the repetition to build to that point and then move on. So the reason why it's important to be really comfortable with these is you're gonna take the rhythm of your double unders that you can do regularly and you're also gonna take the mechanics, the rotation mechanics of your backwards single unders, fuse them together to form that nice, beautiful, perfect storm that is the backwards double under. So get those two elements down first. So once you've had enough of that, we're gonna barrel on into the actual backwards double under. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your uh, double under technique and apply that to your backwards rotations. Now, the issue, the first issue that gets most people is the hand positioning. You might not realize this, but when you're doing double unders forwards, you've got a lot more room to move your hands around and get off that kind of central plane of the hip bone and uh, get away with it. But with the backwards double under, it's a lot different. A, because with that rope rotating backwards, you're gonna slap yourself in the face or in the chest, in your soft underbelly, as they'd call it in the animal kingdom, if you mess up because that rope is rotating backwards. And it's much more likely to mess up because if your hands are creeping forward, as you might be able to get away with with your forward double unders, that's gonna be off the central plane. And then that rope's gonna catch your foot and you're gonna feel it. I really don't blame you if you start learning this technique with a protective mask on. It might look silly, but I'll understand it fully. I've been there where I've had the slashes across the face and it's not pretty. 
There we go. Right to the nose. So you're tucking right back, staying in that region, not allowing your hands to slip forward, as tempting as it may be. Here's the super tricky part. It's the jumping. So when I first started learning backwards double unders, I realized that because I'm rotating the rope backwards and with force, I'd feel my jump sort of sliding backwards a bit. So what you have to do to keep discipline and stay on the spot is you have to actually think as though you're jumping forward slightly. It's some kind of disconnect between the brain and your limbs. When you're rotating backwards and jumping, you are more likely to slide backwards. You have to think as though you're jumping slightly forwards to counterbalance that and stay on the spot. Right, so you might find this when you're training that you're progressively sliding backwards as you're learning your backwards double unders. It doesn't mean you're weird or something strange is going on. It's natural to kind of move backwards with your hand, especially because you're becoming more conscious of your hands and that you're rotating backwards. What you just have to do is kind of divorce the hands from the feet and think about your feet slightly jumping forwards, kind of to counteract those two opposing forces. All right, so that's about it. I said I'd keep this one concise and to the point. That's it for backwards double unders. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if you got any benefit from this video. I'm gonna shoot into a quick demonstration now that you can have a look at. Really look at my hands, look at my jumping, look at my posture. Make sure you're taking note of all of these things. Try to apply them with your training. As always, be patient with yourself. Allow yourself time to mess up and to mess up again. So once again, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch me talk about unders double or reverse double unders. If you found this video helpful, do not simply click off the video and go about your day because I'll be hurt deeply. I'd much prefer it if you dropped a like, if you dropped a little something in the comments section. I'm always happy to chat with you guys and we look forward to the next video. Until next time, it's all the best with your training and stay raging. Or raging, stay. Stay raging backwards. That's enough for me. You must subscribe. If you don't, we have no videos. <laughs> subscribe to this video once again. Subscribe. That's it. Thank and you. Subscribe for all the videos that we watch. If it's finished, we get more videos coming on. Yep. So subscribe to all of the videos that we watched. You must subscribe. Press the press button and then you will see all the different kind of buttons you want to press. You can press which one is your favourite one, then you can choose which one is your favourite one. You have to learn and you have to train so you can get big. Yeah. Subscribe! <laughs>